Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tina from TinaHeels.com and just the other day I was talking with a client and I heard myself say that if you need to know about disease and sickness, illnesses of all sorts, this ease in the body, then you look at the placement of Mars and Saturn in your natal chart. Okay, they will, uh, the story of Mars and Saturn in your natal chart will give you 90% of the reasons of your illnesses. Okay, the other uh, planets to look out for is Uranus, sudden illnesses, Neptune, um, addictive illnesses, psychological illnesses, uh, Pluto, of course, death uh, rebirth and Rahu and Ketu the nodes of the moon also tell you about your health okay so for instance you need to look at a few things okay you need to see if a planet has bad aspects okay so you know that your sixth house is the house of your health the eighth house is the house of your death, is the house of death. And also twelfth house is the house of death, okay, incarceration, drowning, and all of that. So you need to understand, of course, the dispositions and the rulers of this these houses and a complex story to, to really understand what is going on with uh, your health. But basically, if any of these planets that I just mentioned are in a hard aspect like opposition uh, uh even conjunction can be problematic depending on the harmony between planets and the sign they inhabit okay uh quincunxes can be very difficult five signs apart very difficult opposition squares 90 degree aspects tension okay uh squares call out for self-mastery or mastery over any particular type of problem then you're health could be afflicted if any of these planets have any of these difficult aspects with one another or with someone else, any difficult aspect. If a planet has um, even trines, for instance, trine is a good harmonious aspect, but trines can be too much of a good thing and they can be like floodgates opening up and a huge uh, movement of energy which can be quite harmful. I have seen trines to play out quite harmfully. Okay, now if the malefics, who are the malefics, Mars and Saturn again, 90% of your health release reasons are them. If they are in a difficult house, so for instance, six, six house of health, Mars or Saturn, not good. Eight, Mars or Saturn, not good. Although they say Saturn at the, in the eight, you can live longer, okay? But you could have a lot of problems initially, but that after you achieve the level of mastery with Saturn, which only happens after 29, okay? Um, eight, six, eight or 12, if any of these malefics are in those houses, or if the malefics are in Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? Mars and Pisces, not good. Mars and Virgo, not good. I have Mars and Virgo. Uh, headaches. I always used to have chronic migraines. I can't tell you. And I also have a 12th house sun conjunct um, my Mercury and Saturn and still not really conjunct but widely conjunct. So I always had this problem with my right eye which was a lazy eye. I didn't want to see more or do more work or something like that, okay? So there, okay, the placement of planets in, in these three houses, especially if malefics are positioned to any, close to any uh, personal planet. Um, also, if bad planets occupy the ascendant, like for instance, I have Mars on my ascendant. So if you have Saturn, for instance, on your ascendant, difficult ketu on your ascendant rahu on your ascendant ketu on on your ascendant loss loss grievous bodily harm accidents mars on your ascendant accidents rash behavior you know just saying your mind and hurting people being blunt to a fault so uh i hope you like that video as much as i like make me for you study saturn and Mars, all of it, aspects, signs, dispositions, all of it. 
and study the esoteric placements also. And then you will be able to piece together the story of your dis-ease because, you know, physical diseases always start in the spiritual realm and then they transmigrate to this dense 3D reality. So subscribe, like, comment, share and let me know what you think. Thank you.